All right, and I found him. Here's Sorry. Dad. You've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. It's so good to see you, but but what are you doing here? It's all white haired now. I came here to find you. Well, I'm glad you did. This certainly wasn't how I expected things to turn out. I wasn't ready for Braun, or I might have fared better. Good thing I showed up to save you. It certainly is. Oh, he was the dog. It's nice to feel that I'm on two legs. Oh shit. And thanks to Dr. Braun, I know that Project Purity is huh. lost after all. What did you learn? I was right about Braun. The technology he developed is unstable, even dangerous. But it can be adapted for Project Purity. I need to return to Rivet City and talk with Madison. If we can find a Gek, we can... You find a Gek? So you're going back to Rivet City right now? Yes. With what I've learned, Madison is sure to see that we can finally succeed where we failed so many years ago. Huh. I'd like you to come with me. I'd like you to be there when we finally open the floodgates. Okay, let's head for River City. That's my boy. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. Nice, Tranquility Lane. 720 experience. Leveled up. I changed my mind. I'm not going with you right now. Can we talk for a minute? The Waters of Life, a new quest. Can we talk for a minute? Of course. Can we just go back to the vault, back to the way things were? How could you leave me like that? What the hell were you thinking? I wanted you to be safe. I didn't want this for you. A life out here in this godforsaken war zone. I couldn't tell you what I was doing because I didn't want you following me. Yeah, that worked. Which clearly was not as successful as I imagined it would be. Why would you put yourself at risk like this? You, you have some sort of death wish? Is this about mom? Are you trying so hard because of what happened to her? could have known how much it meant to her. She believed in the work we were doing and was so determined to see it through. She gave up so much for this project. We all did. And I don't want that to have been for nothing. I think I understand. I'm glad we talked. So am I, son. While this isn't what I have in mind, it's good to have you with me. I wanted to talk to you about some things. What is this project? Purity, even though I already know. Has an idea, really. Remember the Bible passage your mother loves so much? Free, clean water for everyone. What a difference it could make in the lives of everyone here in the wastes. Over time, that idea took the form of a purifier. Not like the one in the vault, though. This one was gigantic, capable of purifying millions of gallons of water at once. We used the old Jefferson Memorial for the location. Right. Right on DC's tidal basin. Someday soon, I hope you'll see it work. Um, so what happened to Project Purity? In the year before you were born, things became difficult. There had always been something of a mutant's problem in the city, but it became worse. They attacked more frequently and more aggressively. Support for the project eroded as time went on when we couldn't produce any significant results. Progress came to a halt. And then you were born. Your mother and I had talked about what to do when that time came. But then I... We lost her. And I had to make a decision. I chose to leave. From what I understand, things happened quickly after that. It became too dangerous for the others to stay. And so the project was abandoned. Mm. Dr. Lee and her team left for what became Rivet City. And Project Purity has sat waiting ever since. Okay, interesting. So, how did Mom really die? I understand that you have reason to question a good many things I've told you over the years. But your mother... Huh. I've never lied to you about what happened. Yeah, I never doubted him about that. She died giving birth to you. It was a difficult time... She was so eager to meet you. I mean, we basically saw at the beginning of the, of the game anyway, it's so we knew else. that that was Please, how it happened. She loved you very much. All right. All right, here's our level. Um, so what do we want to do? I still want to get speech up. I'm going to get that up to 90. I'm going to max that out next time I level up. 
Um, let's see. Let's get our science up to 70. I repair to 75. And we'll upgrade small guns. Alright, here we go. Lawbringer. Look at this. Once you have the Lawbringer perk, you're, any evil character you kill will have a finger on their corpse. This finger can then be sold to a certain person whose identity is disclosed when you take the perk. For caps and positive karma. Huh. Now that's interesting, except I don't know how much that's really going to help. Because I don't know what they describe as a, quote, evil person. Um, right, so this is the opposite for bad karma. Adamantium skeleton, I remember, is pretty good. Your limbs will only receive 50% of the damage they normally would. That's pretty good. And the rest I already have seen. This one might not be bad. But I haven't really struggled too much so far. I don't want cannibal. I don't want to level up right away. I haven't had a problem with uh, carrying capacity the whole game, so I'm not worried about that. Yeah, I don't really care about most of this. So I'm thinking either... Yeah, so I'm thinking of either... Um... I think I'm going to do Adamantium Skeleton. I don't know, my limbs don't get crippled that much. I'm gonna do this one. Whoa! He took off. Ambassador of Peace, 20 gamer points. Reach level 14 with good karma, cool. Alright, I gotta put my stuff back on. My normal. There we go. Alright, Dad, let's head out. Dad Liam Neeson. Father Qui-Gon. Damn, he can still run, even though he's an old geezer now. He's still got it. Still wearing his Alt-101 jumpsuit, too. Damn, Dad, slow the fuck down. Nobody ever walks in Fallout, do they? <laughs> they all sprint like crazy. I bet you they unhotkeyed all of my weapons, too. They did. Just to be annoying dicks. They took all my hotkeys away. How lovely. Empty first aid box. Alright, so I guess I can fast travel back to Rivet City now. Bleh. Go to the Rivet City Science Lab. Alright. Oh, fuck that. I'm not manually running all the way to Rivet City, so, um... First of all, I have to go back and re-hotkey all my goddamn weapons. Hunting rifle there, right? This was down. Combat shotgun was over there. I don't know where this was, but we'll put it up here. We're actually gonna put this somewhere, because I want to try to use it. Of course. Fucking annoying. D-pad. Sucks. I didn't even touch that. What? Alright, let's just do that. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, world map. Yeah, I'm gonna manually run all the way over here to Rivet City. Uh-huh. What? What enemies? You're full of shit. Oh my god. What enemy is this? It's a Mr. Gutsy, and I'm supposed to care? Fuck that. I'm just gonna run from it. Okay, or Dad's gonna go fight him. Holy fuck. 
Well, guess I don't have much of a choice. Fuck off. Leave dad alone! Right now, can we fast travel? There, there are no enemies. There we go. Come on, dad, you gotta give it the times. We got teleportation now. You're too old to know that, but, uh. Crazy ass scientist. Alright, well, when we're done here, I actually gotta remember that uh, I have enough lockpick now to where I can open that very hard door down there to get to the front of the ship to go see Pinkerton, because I actually am still interested to find out the real beginnings of Rivet City. So let's head to the science lab.